This video will demonstrate how to use the MindTap e-reader that's included within your MindTap course. Your MindTap e-reader does include the same content as the printed version of your textbook. You can navigate from section to section using the navigational arrows on the side of the page, or you can use the scroll bar down here at the bottom. Within the text of the page, you'll notice that certain keywords are highlighted and underlined. You can click on these keywords to receive a glossary definition of that term. Within the text of the page, you can annotate. To do so, simply click and drag over the text that you would like to annotate, and when you lift up on your cursor, a contextual menu will appear. You can choose to highlight the text, and you have four different colors to choose from. You can also add a note. So I'm going to highlight, and then I'm going to click on my highlight to reopen the menu, and I'm going to go ahead and add a note. And hit save. You'll notice that your note appears in the margin on the page, and all of your notes and highlights are tracked in the notes area over here on the right side of the page. You can access all of the notes and highlights that you've made through the highlights tab. As you can see, here is the note and highlight that I just made, and the blue arrow would take me back to this particular page if I had navigated to a different section of the book. The bookmarks tab will track any bookmarks that you've made throughout the ebook, and you also have access to a notebook where you can take notes outside of the actual e-reader. This notebook will sync with Evernote. So if you do have the Evernote application downloaded to your smartphone or tablet, you can sync those accounts so that you can take notes outside of MindTap and have them sync into your MindTap notebook. Other tools include an embedded dictionary. To use the embedded dictionary, simply highlight a word. So I'm gonna highlight contemporary, and from the menu, I'll choose dictionary. The dictionary definition will open here on the right side of the page. To minimize the dictionary, simply click on the double chevrons. Another tool that you have access to is called the Read Speaker. This allows for the page to be read aloud to you. You can have the entire page read aloud by clicking on the speaker icon in the top left-hand corner, or you can highlight specific text to be read aloud. You'll simply highlight the text and click Read Text from the contextual menu. The word psychology is a combination of two Greek words, psyche, or psych, or so. You can determine settings for the read speaker by clicking on the read speaker icon in your app dock on the right side of the page. This allows you to determine how fast or slow you would like the text read, and if you prefer a male or a female voice. Other tools included in the ebook include printing capabilities. To print, simply click on the printer icon in the top left hand corner. To bookmark a page, simply click on the ribbon in the top right hand corner and notice that you can also increase or decrease the font size on the page. The magnifying glass on the right side of the page allows you to search for specific page numbers and content areas.